Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the final part in which we are going to draw a live chart using Sync Fusion Flutter Charts dependency and in this series we have learned a lot uh, using Cartesian charts, pie charts, riddle charts, donut charts and in this part we will be creating a live chart. So for that thing let's create a widget in the widgets folder called live chart dot dart and in this I am going to first of all import material dot dart and then I'll create a stateful widget stateful widget called live chart widget and let's create a scaffold with an app bar with a title as live chart then after the app bar let's create a body in the body let's create a container and then we will be uh, putting the data inside it but first of all let's create a few more things so in this class we have to define a list of chart data so i'm going to define list and this will be my final list uh, sorry not final list it will be a late list right because we have to update the data so I'm defining late because I'm promising to this list that I'm going to provide some data after some time. So late data, right? So list will be create will list will be of type live data. So this class I'm going to create soon and this list will be called chart data. So perfect. And the next uh, thing I have, I have to create is chart series controller. In the previous parts, we were not creating it, but in this we have to create a controller. So this will also be a late and it will be called chart series controller and this will be of type chart series controller. So let's import our dependency sync fusion flutter chart series and then let's create a live data class. So it will be a class called live data and it will be taking two things final int time why int because i will be defining time in seconds so this class is taking time and then it is taking speed so final num or we can take yes let's take the speed because i am taking reference of the official documentation example so let's take speed right so let's create a constructor and i'm going to explain each and everything very soon so yes so this is my class and it is having a simple constructor so now we have to fill this live data list right so what we can do is so we can do first of all let's create a init state function so that we can initialize them so init state is this function and in this we have to define uh, chart data so let me just remove this to do and after this my chart data will be a function get chart data so now i have not yet created this function so let's create it over here only get chart data so this is going to return a list of live data so what I can do is I can define that it is going to return me a list of live data and this is going to return a live data list and this list will be assigned to this chart data as you can see over here right so this chart data will be taking a list of live data so return a live data list semicolon and inside it I have, uh, I'll be defining live data objects so first one let's take the time as 0 initially and the speed as let's take 42 so what i'm doing is i'm going to define time speed graph right you can define sales graph or you can define any kind of graph i'm defining uh, speed versus time graph right so this uh, speed will be plotted at y-axis time will be plotted at, plotted at x-axis let me just copy this live data again and again uh what is this copilot no let's cross it 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10. So I'll just uh, fastly make it right. So what I've done is I've created a list of live data which is having 0 to 9 seconds data and this is the data 42 meter per second, 44 meter per second like this, right? Perfect. So now what I have to do is I have defined the chart data and it will be taking this data, right? Now the next thing that I have to do, I have to initialize a timer. So timer dot periodic and the duration will be const duration and I can define that after every second. So seconds will be one. It should be updated and uh, uh, what function I want to run. So let me just remove this timer. So this is this is taking a function, right? So I'm going to define one more function called update data source. Right, so this is a function. Let's create this function also. Update data source. So this thing is going to, first of all, let's define my initial timer. So I, you can see that uh, last data is at nine seconds. So for this update time, uh, my initial data will be int time is equal to 10. Perfect. Right, so this update data source is going to take a timer. Then in this, I have to update the chart data. So chart data dot add. So this is going to add and what it is going to add, it is going to add the live data because chart data is taking nothing but live data. So let's add live data, then time and speed. So time will be time plus plus because I have to update the time by one second. So time plus plus after every uh, addition of the live data object, I have to update the time. So time plus plus and what will be my speed? My speed will be, I have to, I'm just, I'm, I don't have any data. I'm just randomly uh, choosing between some values. So what I'll do is I'll use math dot random and math dot random. So I have to import math, import, math dot 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 uh, math dot 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 math as math perfect so now i can use it math dot random dot next int maximum let's take uh, 60 and uh, and after the addition, I'm going to remove the index zero value. So let's take after one second, this value will be removed. After second second, this value will be removed. And after the third second, this value will be removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write chart data dot remove at index zero. So after every second, it is going to remove the data from index zero so that it should not form a cluster in the graph, right? Now what I have to do? I have to update the controller. So chart series controller dot update data source and inside it we have to write added data index. So this is a parameter and added update added data index will be chart data dot length minus one because uh, length is uh, start length starts from one goes till the length but uh, index will be index starts from zero. That's why chart data length come minus one comma remove data index remove data index at zero. Perfect. Let's put a simple semicolon. Perfect. So this is also ready. Now what I can do is I can just uh, create my widget. So where is my widget tree? Yes, it is starting from here. So in the body, uh, in the body, let's uh, take in the container, let's define body, sorry, not body. Let's define a child. And let's take a SF Cartesian chart only, SF Cartesian chart. And to this SF Cartesian chart, I'm going to define series first of all. So to this series, let's define a list. And in this list, uh, I will be defining line series. So this line series will be of type live data 
comma int. Now previously we were defining data source x value mapper y value mapper, but this time we have to define on render created on render created, and this is going to take my chart series controller. Then the chart series controller that we have defined in the class is equal to my controller that we have got from here. Perfect. Now after this we can define uh, that what we can say the data source is my chart data. Then I can define x value mapper and this is going to take live data data comma underscore value data dot time so x will be showing the time then the y value mapper y value mapper will be again live data so let me just copy the same thing paste it data dot speed perfect right so we are missing yes perfect now what we can do is, uh, I think we can just uh, save it and let's see what we get. And in the main dot dot, I can return live chart widget. Save it. Okay, we are getting it, and you can see that it is getting updated also. So what I don't like is the chart is a little bigger. So I can define the height of this container. Height of this container as three hundred. And in the Cartesian chart, I can just copy other uh, things like dash array, not the dash array. Uh, let me just copy legend item text. Uh, let me just copy it. So in the live chart, I can just write as speed. And in the SF Cartesian chart, I can define uh, legend as legend is visible true then what we define in it uh, bar series is there color is there yeah that's okay so let's go to live chart let me just save it okay we have legend and you can see that now it is getting updated uh, in this area only so this is the uh, x values so what we can do is um, x axis name will be my time so you can also see that after each and every second, the index zero value is getting is going away and the new value is getting updated. Okay, so now I can define the y axis name. That will be my speed. Now in this, we have to define primary axis, or primary x axis and primary y axis for getting the labels of x and y axis. So what we can do is, uh, I think why it is not working, I don't know. Let's define primary x axis. So after the line series where it is, yes, after the series we have to define primary x-axis which takes a numeric axis and in this numeric axis we have to define uh, major grid lines, major grid lines, yes this one and to this we can define that major grid lines width, major grid lines width let's take one so it takes a number then what we can define is the edge label placement edge label placement and it's uh, it is also taking edge label placement dot edge label these are the uh, uh, choice these, these are your choice like whether you want to uh, write these parameters or not so i am going to write edge label Placement dot shift. You have to you have to just play with these parameters, and you can see that what change it is bringing in your graph. Then let's take the interval as uh, two, and then we can define the title. So the title is axis title, axis title, and it takes a text, and I can define that my x is nothing but the time in seconds. Perfect. Nice. So I can just copy it. I can paste it, and this will become my y, and the axis title will become a uh, speed. So let's take it meter per second. Let me just save it. 
so perfect you can see that now it is more uh, like more in the mathematical mathematically organized right perfect so now you can see that this graph is now more uh, organized so i hope you like this video i hope you learned something unique in this part and if you like this series hit the like button subscribe to my channel and you can reach out to me on instagram linkedin so i hope that you will like my upcoming uh, videos also so till then and keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot